Step one, get smart, get strategic. The five steps to data-driven marketing and Big Data Insights series was developed to help you become a more data-driven marketer. And this particular session in the series outlines step one, get smart, get strategic. There's a great deal of frenzy surrounding the idea of big data and data-driven marketing these days. You've probably heard the discussions. How do we recognize and integrate deep behavioral analytics and current contextual information to deliver the best possible real-time customer offer or response? In many ways, the frenzy is justified. The promise of data-driven marketing is valuable and real presents marketers with unprecedented opportunities. But what we need to avoid is this goat rodeo, yes, I said goat rodeo, that often takes place in the C-suite. Have you experienced it? The mayhem of embracing new ideas and technologies, moving at warp speed from one idea to the next, colleagues getting bucked in all different directions and people talking different languages. It's time for us to quell the chaos to bring the marketing department back into the enterprise fold, to wrap our arms around digital disruption, and to bridge the growing distance between marketers and customers. As marketers, we believe we're providing the gift of stellar customer experience. Our customers, on the other hand, often feel differently. Our goal then should be to leverage all our big data insights to improve our customers' experience and to ensure our business success. We've developed a five-step approach to becoming a more data-driven organization to engage in the process of collecting, analyzing, and executing on big data insights to encourage customer engagement, improve marketing results, and measure internal accountability. And today I'd like to explore step one, get smart, get strategic. Every solid strategy starts with a clear vision, but unfortunately, too many companies choose to skip over the vision thing. Then, since companies lack vision, technology, not strategy, become the driver, and that becomes a recipe for disaster. Technology is never the panacea, it's the enabler. That's why aligning behind a shared vision is critical, and not only among the marketing department, but across the entire C-suite as well. A shared vision paints the picture of a broader organization and what it needs to be supported. It helps connect the dots on projects and helps illustrate how these projects drive value. And it can be the arbitrator to achieve alignment when change sparks turf wars. Although plans will vary from organization to organization, five fundamental components must be considered when establishing your company's plan of attack. They are, one, a customer interaction strategy, two, an analytics strategy, three, a data strategy, four, an organizational strategy, and five, a technology strategy. Let's start with your customer interaction strategy. Although it may seem obvious, you must always remember that the heart of your customer interaction strategy is your customer. What does that mean to you as a marketer? It means that you need to map and understand the buyer's journey from first contact all the way through purchase and post-market relationships. It means you need to get your customer data out of silos and into a central view because ultimately all that fragmentation results in dissatisfied and frustrated customers. And once you understand your customer's journey, you have to identify and make the changes that need to happen across the organization, across systems, and data to transform and deliver on your customer engagement plan. And last but not least, for your customer interaction strategy to be successful, it must transcend the entire enterprise, not just be focused on marketing. Next up is your analytics strategy. A comprehensive strategy in this realm consists of three main categories, as defined by global expert on business process reengineering and analytical competition, Tom Davenport. First up, 
business analytics. This is comprised of the conventional reports and intelligent dashboards that business leaders have embraced since the automation and capture of enterprise information and key performance indicators, or KPIs. Next are the predictive analytics. This is about the use of data from past and present and the application of statistical models to predict what may happen based on past events. And finally, prescriptive analytics. These analytics are insights that tell you what to do. For example, think about optimization, pricing simulations, and interaction approaches. Because data and technology fuel your analytics, it's important to identify where you are currently and what type of analytics you'll need to better position your organization in today's digitally disrupted marketing environment. Next in line is your data strategy. The development of an enterprise-wide data strategy is critical. Why? Because most organizations have cross-enterprise silos of information, and because data driven marketing requires credible data. And in order for your strategy to be actionable, it needs to be driven as a partnership between IT, marketing, and other key functions. In addition, the strategy itself should be linked to overall business objectives and supported by senior level executives. It's also important to be mindful of data management issues such as data hygiene and compliance. And perhaps the most critical component of success make sure you have the organizational talent to execute your data strategy. Although this rosy vision of corporate unity may seem impossible, organizations across the globe are already proving their success of their data stat strategies step by step. Fourth on our list is developing an organizational strategy. In order to avoid our siloed mistakes of the past, it's essential for marketers to ensure processes, and workflows involving customer experience and buyer data are part of a broad integrated enterprise-wide strategy. A holistic solution means silos can be eliminated and the customer experience can be seamless. Our final strategy focus is on technology. Successful organizations not only nurture strategic partnerships between the CMO and the CIO, but they also marry business and technology strategy. When developing your strategy, I recommend taking these three elements under consideration. Number one, whether your customer engagement strategy will be in-house or outsourced. Number two, whether your organization is using a consolidated platform or various point solutions. And number three, creating short-term and mid-term technology roadmaps as progression points. The most important thing to remember about developing an overall big data strategy is this. It's not a quick or simple fix, but with a shared vision, a commitment to continued learning, and the gumption to think about and act on marketing opportunities in new and exciting ways, you're taking steps to create an organization that truly can become data-driven. Tune into our next session where we'll discuss step two in our five-step process tearing down the silos. For additional resources to help you on your data-driven marketing journey, visit teradata.com backslash big hyphen data hyphen marketing.